the radiator mud, dirt and water is being splashed into that area and some of it might be going into the radiator fan area at the back of the radiator so I thought up of maybe putting a plate a metal plate or something on that area just to help block off the dirt and mud I suppose I should go to another to a mechanic to a bike mechanic to a motorcycle shop there's one that I usually go to one in Lukat just beside the or near the Ever supermarket in Sukat a block or so away from Paranaque City Hall and I suppose I should do that but sometimes there are I mean there are times that there are things that I just want to do for myself and by myself rather and I suppose this is just one of those things not that big a job so I suppose I could do it and I'm thinking of where am I where am I going to get the material for this small repair job or this small task of shielding the elect the motorcycle's radiator fan from the dirt and mud. But I suppose I could go looking for a small sheet or plate of metal that I... Steel plate, steel sheet that I can bend and then have a hole drilled into, into it so that I can screw it in place or something like that. Or maybe some other item. And that's what... I'm going to do now looking for a proper piece of metal that I can use so I'm for this afternoon just got off work this afternoon I'm on my way to SM Sukhat and go to Ace Hardware and do just that look for something that I can use to help block off the mud and dirt and even water from being splashed on the radiator and the motor or the engine from the front tire of the motorcycle yeah hopefully I'll be able to find one And, of course, this being a video in which the voice recording is added later on, <laughs> you know it is, I am not that good at speaking on the fly. Of course, I've already found one and that's what I am going to be reporting about shortly. So, after walking around... Ace Hardware, looking around, just browsing at the things there. I found something that I could use. And here it is. It's already the following day and I've already attached it. Yeah, it is what it is. It's exactly what it looks like. It's a door hinge, a stainless steel door hinge. <laughs> which I had positioned just under the radiator of the motorcycle and strapped into place I mean I suppose I could use screws but I'm not that really I'm, uh, I mean that would include that would in involve using a drill to drill holes and such I thought I'd just use cable ties to strap the hinge into place I use two kinds of hinges Uh, 
Oh, he just used two kinds of cable ties. I used a plastic cable tie to secure it in place and then I used wire cable ties to further secure it just in case the plastic cable ties get loosened by the heat. And as you can see, it's not that bad. I mean, I like it. It looks okay to me, but of course, that's just me and that's just my opinion. Now, behind the hinge is the air outlet for the, the fan. And that's probably where the dirt is getting in. As you can see, on the radiator, area just above the hinge where I, where I attach the hinge you can see dirt and mud traces of it being thrown from the front tire towards the radiator so not that bad job i suppose but we'll see when I use my motorcycle again, we'll see how it works. We'll see how the cable ties work out. If I have to use an actual steel wire to secure it in place or if the cable ties that I've used is enough. Hopefully it is and I didn't mess it up such that the door hinge gets loose and drops off. I mean, that would suck. <laughs> Anyways, I've tried pushing it and it works. It's I tried pushing the hinge or moving it with my hand and it seems to be secure. So we'll see, as always, we'll see how it turns out. And I'm hoping for the best with regards to this. Now here's a view of my garage. It's a one car garage, but I don't have a car. I do have three motorcycles. There's my Z1000R on the right, my Z250 SL on the left, and here's my RS150. So looking around, I could probably fit one more motorcycle here in in this garage, I suppose. It will be a tight fit if I do get one. And I am planning to get one, as I have mentioned in my previous posts. Either a Vulcan S or a Rebel 500. Yeah. So with the door hinge <laughs> attached to my Z250SL, next job is of course to look for a, uh, a front fender extender and then have that attached. Yeah. And I figured I might as well look for a mud guard for the rear tire as well. I mean, that's always a good idea. I mean, not only will it protect me from mud being splashed on my back, but for symmetry as well. Fender extension on the front and mud guard on the back. Aesthetics wise, I think that would be the way to go. Yeah. So I'll be on the lookout for those two things and expect me to report about it later on. Well, that's about it for now. Until next time, keep on riding on. Bye-bye.